had a request to um, do an update on my on the hay buster and what it's uh, how it's working out for us. I still have no phone. I do have a loaner phone, but I have no no contact information. Uh, so due to my video on my tablet, which it works all right, but it's hard to hold, etc. So anyway, we're gonna uh, got the uh, M and the Hay Buster. Um, we're gonna go. Uh, Bed of barn. I get out of here. Uh, I did match to put the 44 on the hay buster at one time uh, a couple weeks ago. It does work. It does work kind of a little better because it has more power, but uh, just the uh, convenience of it um, doesn't work real. The 40, the the M is a better fit because uh, the M has the loader on it and a bale spear so we can uh, peel bales off the uh, stacks. Uh, yesterday dad was bedding uh, and he was uh, doing it all on his own. Uh, putting the, uh, pulling the bales off the stacks to put them in a row so we could uh, load them with the hay buster. Uh, so uh, yeah, it does work uh, pretty well for this. Uh, Somebody's also asked uh, what we need tractors for, or what seat tractor going to be used for, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we'll make a video about that. Um, the only problem is that my uh, I think my controller rattles against the windshield. I need to tape. Figure out. We should have a we should have a rag up there, but it, it rattles and some loose. But um, anyway, as far as what the hay buster. Um, does <clears throat> this stack right here um, is about all we had left last year and it was down over there uh, if you watched my thank you to a hundred subscriber video you would have saw that we had basically them that many bales of corn stocks left just this stack that's uncovered uh, plus about another 60 in the barn at uh, well a month ago would have probably been this year as we got the hay buster kind of late in the year but we have those two we have all these there's a uh, 120 plus 60 in the bar 180 uh, there's over 200 and some odd bales left of bedding versus last year we probably had about Oh, maybe 70. But last year we were not feeding any. This year we are. Uh, I am using using these bales for feed. Uh, we probably need to probably slow down on them a little bit because uh, we're going to run out. Uh, but for next year, uh, we're going to have plenty of bales to use uh, for feed. Corn stalks are our cheapest feed. Corn stalks are not a uh, good they're good cow feed, but they're not, uh, you need to put some protein and energy with them. Uh, wet corn gluten is uh, relatively cheap. We're less than 20 miles away from corn sweetener plants and et cetera. Uh, so uh, those, by, those byproducts are very economical for us. Uh, corn silage is my most expensive feed uh, that I get. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do on corn silage this year because um, I have to buy it. Uh, so corn silage is not my cheapest feed, it's actually my most expensive feed. So if I can make use of my corn stalks, um, even if I have to add wet gluten to them, yeah, I'm taking a while to back up to those bales because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> but but corn stalks for feed mixed with wet gluten uh, I can make basically the equivalent of, uh, of third cutting alfalfa hay to feed the cows and it'll cost cost me 
uh, not nothing, but it's it's my most cheapest ration. Uh, would be corn, ground corn stalks mixed with uh, wet gluten, and that's even including the the machinery cost. So, but I'm limited on the number of uh, acres I have available to bale corn stalks off of. So that that is why you know some other uh, the advantages of the hay buster is. So I can use my use my my bales for feed. Um, the only hard part about this is trying to see that, because as you can see, you cannot see uh, that second bale um, to load them. But most of the time, we do get it. Uh, I'm not like I said. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, But basically, uh, as far as the hay buster goes, um, I'm sure any bale processor will be the same. Um, I have cut my bedding use in half. Um, we uh, basically can use half the amount of bedding and it lasts the same amount of time. And we bale between 800 and 1,000 bales of corn stalks a year. The adult is just kind of, it's the same number of acres kind of every year, but it's the, uh, it just depends on the weather. Uh, if it's, you know, really wet, uh, there's more fodder and stalks to bale. Um, if it's dry, it's dry, but, but we've been using every bit of those bales for bedding. Uh, I would really like to use them for feed because hay is not, hay is my number, my number two, uh, most expensive feed. There we go. But anyway, um, so yeah, basically the hay buster is cost is uh, saving me uh, half of my half of my bales. So that's uh, basically uh, next year it'll be a better because we'll have it for the full year. Uh, so basically, we're saving uh, over four hundred bales of corn stalks a year. Uh, That is roughly eight. It all depends on what hay is worth. Hay is not worth nothing now. Uh, but in general, that's. Uh, and I guess I do have to add some extra feed, but feed to them uh, to the uh, and have the equipment to use uh, the corn stalk because you can't just dump a corn stalk bale out to the cows. You'll waste uh, ninety percent of it because it's the low, the stop part. <laughs> but uh, I'm base. If I save four hundred bales a year, I'm easily saving uh, that I can use for feed. Uh, I'm easily saving eight thousand dollars. The hay buster does not cost me that much per year, not even close. Um, so the hay buster is is. Um, it's kind of like being able to rent more ground without having any more ground because I'm basically maxed out on the number of pasture acres I got, the number of hay acres I got, and the number of corn stalks I got. Um, but I need to use them, use them more efficiently or make better use out of them. So, uh, so this is a way that I can do that and so far it's worked really well. Uh, I'm going to make a part two video, so uh, thanks for watching, uh, comment, question, subscribe, fun YouTube stuff as always. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one, it'll be a part two uh, Hate Buster video. Thanks.